In this video, we're going to talk about two types of events, independent events and dependent events. Now, you might be wondering, what is the difference between the two? As the name suggests, independent events are events that do not depend on each other. Dependent events are events that do depend on each other. And we're going to use this example to illustrate this concept. So let's go ahead and work out this problem. Number one, a bag consists of eight red marbles, seven blue marbles, six green marbles, and four yellow marbles. What is the probability of selecting a red marble? Now, if you wanna work out this problem, pause the video and go ahead and do so. So let's begin. Let's write out the marbles that we have. So the first color is red, the second color is blue, the third color is green, and the fourth color is yellow. So you can clearly see the information. Now we have eight red marbles, seven blue marbles, six green marbles, and four yellow marbles. Now let's get the total. Six plus four is 10, 8 plus 7 is 15, 15 plus 10 is 25. So we have a total of 25 marbles. So what's the probability of selecting a red marble? To calculate the probability of an event occurring, it's basically the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. In this case, it has to do with marbles. So it's going to be the eight red marbles that we have divided by the total number of marbles, which is 25. Eight divided by 25 is 0.32. So what this means is that there's a 32% chance of selecting a red marble on the first try. Now, what about part B? What is the probability of selecting a blue marble on the first try and then a green marble on the second try with replacements. So what is the probability of getting B and then getting G? So let's do this one at a time. The probability of getting a blue marble is gonna be the number of blue marbles, which is seven, divided by the total number of marbles, which is 25. Now, what about the green marble? Well, we need to understand the expression with replacement. So that means that once we select the blue marble on the first try, we're going to put that blue marble back in the bag. So we still have a total of 25 marbles. And there are six green marbles. So the probability of getting a green marble will be six out of 25. So now let's do the math. Seven times six is 42. 25 times 25 is 625. Now 42 divided by 625, that's 0 0.0672. So if we multiply that by 100, that corresponds to a 6.72% chance of getting a blue marble on the first try and then a green marble on the second try. Now let's move on to part C. What is the probability of selecting a yellow marble on the first try and then a red marble on the second try without replacement? So what do you think the answer is going to be for that one? So let's start with the first event. What is the probability of selecting a yellow marble? There's four yellow marbles out of a total of 25. So it's four out of 25. Now, what do you think the expression without replacement means? This means that once we take out that yellow marble, we are not going to put it back into the back. So 
we no longer have 25 marbles in a bag, but we now have 24 marbles. Now we still have eight red marbles. So to select a red marble on a second try, it's gonna be eight over 24 as opposed to eight over 25. So let's do the math. 24, I'm gonna write that as eight times three. And eight, I'm gonna leave it as eight times one. So we could cancel the eights. 25 times three is 75. So the probability will be four over 75. Four divided by 75 is 0 0.053 with the three repeating. So this is approximately a 5.3% chance of occurring. That's for this particular event. Now let's talk about what we have here. Which situation represents an independent event and which one would you say are dependent events? So part B, there's two events, getting a blue marble and then a green marble. Would you say the second event depends on the first event? What is the probability of getting a green marble? Just of getting a green marble. It's gonna be the six green marbles out of the total of 25. And notice that is what we see in the second event. The probability hasn't changed. So getting a blue marble on the first try had no effect on the probability of getting a green marble on the second try. So part B represented a situation with independent events. Now what about part C? The probability of getting a red marble is eight over 25. Did that probability change? Does the second event depend on the first event? Yes, it does. Because with, without replacement, the number of marbles in the bag changes. And so after you, you take out that first marble, you no longer have 25 marbles, you now have 24. And so since the number of marbles in the bag changes, the probability of the second event will change. As you can see, the second event is eight out of 24 compared to what it would be, which would be eight out of 25 if we didn't select the yellow marble on the first try without replacement. So anytime you have a situation where it's without replacement, you're dealing with dependent events. When it's with replacement, you're dealing with independent events. So keep that in mind. Now let's move on to part D. What is the probability of selecting two blue marbles with replacements? So is this gonna be dependent events or independent events? Since it's with replacement, we're dealing with independent events. So the probability of getting the first blue marble is seven out of 25. Now we're gonna put that blue marble back in so we're still gonna have a total of 25 marbles, and there's still gonna be seven blue marbles, so on the second try, the probability will not change. Seven times seven is 49. 25 times 25 is 625. So this is equal to 0 0.0784. So there's a 7.84% chance of selecting two blue marbles with replacement. Now, part E, what is the probability of selecting two green marbles without replacement? So now we're dealing with dependent events. So we have six green marbles out of a total of 25. Now, once we take out one green marble, we now only have 24 marbles in a bag. Now, we don't have six green marbles anymore because we took out one we now have five green marbles. And so this is the situation that we now have. Let's write 25 as five times five. And let's write 24 as six times four. So we could cancel a five and we can cancel a six. So since there are no more numbers on top, we're just gonna put a one. On the bottom we have five times four, which is 20. 
1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. So if we multiply that by 100, this tells us that there's a 5% chance of selecting two green marbles without replacement.